When designing a teaching and learning experience, having clear objectives, in other words, uh, defining properly our intended learning outcomes, is definitely an important step. It's very useful to think right from the beginning about how we will observe these intended learning outcomes and therefore what our assessment strategy will be. The thing we need to think about is that having defined a clear objective does not automatically bring us to designing how we will reach that objective. The how is an extremely rich and complex dimension that we can define synthetically as a strategy, but it can be interpreted in many different ways. Building a strategy means, in fact, putting a system of knowledge into place in terms of know-how and methods, but also in terms of values sharing, personal inclination, that all together create what will be our way of acting within the teaching and learning experiences in order to reach the final outcomes. But where can we take inspiration from to build this strategy in the teaching and learning process? We have an entire discipline at our disposal that can support this process, pedagogy. Pedagogy is an extremely rich discipline that has moreover continually evolved its offering of new visions of what knowledge is, what the learning process is, and what the key variables that influence them are. Those who don't come from this background might feel intimidated and disoriented with this wealth of knowledge. And you might be wondering also what these two pictures next to me are doing here. What we suggest in this MOOC, and this might be a little bit funny, is to consider the great history of pedagogy as if it was a haute couture, and then deduct some operative models that we can consider closer to the concept of prêt-à-porter. That means something that recovers strong cultural messages that come from the creators of haute couture, but ends up being transferred into something that can be used in daily life. Pedagogy itself suggests some tools to connect the pedagogical theory and the teaching practice. That is the so-called pedagogical models. Pedagogical models are precisely the achievement in terms of teaching practice, operational guidelines of the general principles that can be inspired by the great educational theories. The pedagogical models, as we were saying, in the transference from the haute couture to the prêt à porter, they run the risk to being overly simplified. What we will try to do, therefore, is to suggest some pedagogical models that do their best to preserve the principles of the pedagogical theories from which they derive. And what does this mean? It means, first of all, preserving the vision of what knowledge is for that specific educational theory, and then what learning is in that perspective especially which are the key variables that, according to that theory, mostly influence learning. Mm -hmm.